Ready, boys? Yeah? Okay, we're on it. Guys, we got work to do. Hey RV boys, good to see you. Looks like we're doing a delivery to Port Alberni. We need it there by six o'clock Saturday night. Make her happen? Great. Hey RV boys, you gonna need these. So we get the keys and the destination. Now we gotta go check out what we're driving. Hey, welcome to our RV crib. Come on inside, I'll show you around. Running water, cupboards with extra storage, and a nice hot shower for the morning. This is where I sleep. So this place is fully decked out. We have a fridge and a freezer. Running water, got stove top. Bunk beds. Awesome! Room for two. You got a table that turns into a bed. Microwave, you like that microwave popcorn? It's really tasty. I can cook it right here. This RV has a backup camera. Thanks for taking a look at our RV. Now it's time for you to get out of here. So I am thrilled. Port Alberni is my home turf and uh, I get to bring Nick and Greg here and show off where I grew up. So we get into town and I guess they got a new information center and so we went to go check it out. So, oh, this is Port Hardy. Greg, he's never listening. I'm Port Alberni. Well, this is a brand new visitor center just opened uh, uh, this year. We're very proud of it. It's actually what you would describe as a gateway visitor center because we're situated on the highway here and we're a gateway for Hot Springs Cove, Clackwood Sound, Ahousit, Tofino. So while we spoke with Mike, Greg had his own interview he was conducting. So salmon fishing is quite popular here in Port Alberni. Most definitely is. So what makes salmon taste so good? Um. I like it with butter. <laughs> Euclulet, Barclay Sound, Bamfield, Nitnat. If you're heading for any of those destinations, we have the information here. And that's why we're a very busy visitor center. Even after growing up in Port Alberni, I hadn't heard of most of the things that Mike mentioned. I was really glad that we got to talk to him and hear all the things he had to say. Well, thank you for coming by, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again, and yeah. drive carefully. Yeah, thank you very much, Mike. All righty. All right, see ya. So we talked to Mike, and uh, wow, there's so much to do, so we ended up drawing out of a hat. We figured the first thing we should do is grab a campsite.
setting up our campsite took about two minutes. We brought some chairs out, took out some of our supplies, bam, we were set up. It was easy. Today's RV Boys Challenge is something we like to call pumpkin bocce. It's the same rules as regular bocce, except if you break your pumpkin, you lose. The first to reach five points wins. Greg tosses the jack to start the game. Next up, he rolls his pumpkin. Following that is Nick's turn. And Aaron takes a turn. It looks like Nick steals the point for that round. Aaron tosses. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a puffball hazard. We better see that again. That's a point for Aaron. Another point for Greg. Point for Aaron. Here are the scores at halftime. Greg and Aaron, neck and neck. Nick is in last place. The players seem to be taking this a little more seriously in the second half. We are seeing water hazards, pumpkin bumping, and a lot of great plays. There we have another point for Aaron. Last round, and it's a long distance one. Nick fires off his shot. Aaron bombs it. Greg takes his time with it. And... Boom goes the dynamite. The final score showed that Nick ended up dead last with only one point. Aaron plays second with four points, while Greg stole the lead and won the game with five points in Pumpkin Bocce. This makes Greg the winner of the RV Boys Challenge. So we're hanging out by the fire, we're playing some music, eating some Smokies, and it started to get really cold and rainy. So we just packed everything into the RV where it was nice and warm. Hey guys, we've got Battleship and Scrabble. Battleship? Man, I haven't played that in years. I love that game. Uh, looks like we're missing a bunch of pieces. <sighs> well. Same with Scrabble here. Oh, the weather is terrible. Look at those people camping. Oh, they must be miserable. You know, we do have a lot of room in here. Scrabble shit! Yeah! Um, D7? Yeah, you suck my pronoun! And look, you fired upon a triple word score. Yes! Why is this game so confusing? And I keep ending up with vowels. Hey, not my problem. You're a terrible Navy commander who can't spell. Ooh. Too far. Too far. Done with this. Aaron ended the game. That game was rigged, okay? I am never playing Scrabble Ship again. These rules are made up. We sent the cameras back outside in the cold. And we called it a night. And another early morning, Aaron decided it was a good idea to get up and take the RV for a stroll to get a cup of coffee. Man, you just can't start your day out without a cup of non-specific brand coffee. So, I got my coffee. I'm happy. It's time to drop this RV off at our Arbutus in Port Alberni. We were 
were just about to pull up to the Port Alberni Arbutus location when we got the call from Craig. They're not going for this one? Turns out the customer didn't need this model anymore since they were going for a bigger one. All right, you're the boss. We had to turn it around, head back to Nanaimo. Guys, I know of an awesome fishing spot just up ahead. Sure, let's check it out. You boys got some licenses? <laughs> Why did you run? I'm the only one with a license. Well, that's it for the RV boys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. And remember, Arbutus can set you up on your own adventure. <laughs>